Welcome to my organizational behavior playlist. Today, I'll discuss about the framework of OB. So first of all, see the introduction of the organizational behavior. OB is extremely a complex discipline in management that involves numerous inputs and dimensions or you can say parameters. An overall model of OB can be developed by making use of cognitive, behavioristic and environmental consequences. So basically, a framework of the organizational behavior is based on these three parameters, cognitive, behavioristic and environmental consequences. Strength of the structure is highly depend on perceptions, expectations, motivations and similar psychic elements. Now let's see types of the framework of organizational behavior. Basically, there are three major frameworks of organizational behavior. First, cognitive framework. It includes positive and free will aspects of human behavior. So name itself indicate cognitive that means positive and free will aspects. Second, behaviorist framework. It mainly focus on stimulus and response. In short, you can say SR. In behaviorist framework, these are the two important parameters, stimulus and response. Third one, social cognitive framework. It considers cognitive and environmental variables. Now let's see one by one all these three different types of the framework briefly. First, cognitive framework. Now let's start with the meaning of the cognitive. So, cognition can be simply defined as the act of knowing an item or information. So, very simple cognition that means it is one type of the act of knowing an item or information. So, cognitive approach emphasizes the positive and free will aspects of human behavior and uses concepts such as expectancy, demand and intention. So very simple cognitive approach fully focus the positive and free will aspect of the human behavior. In cognitive framework, cognitions lead to behavior and constitute input into the person's thinking, perception, problem solving and information processing. This cognitive concept of expectancy implies that organism is thinking about or is conscious or aware of the goal and result of a behavior exhibited by it. Next, it means that a person desires a goal and also knows the behavior that will lead to achievement of the goals. So simply we can say Cognitive is generally focuses on the positive and free will aspects of the human behavior. Now the second one, behavioristic framework. And also we have discussed in previous slide that is based on stimulus and response. So here you can see stimulus and response. Pioneer behaviorist Ivan Paolo and John B. Watson spread the importance of studying observable behaviors instead of the illusive mind. So both this pioneer behaviorist actually focuses on the importance of studying observable behaviors instead of only mind. They advocated that behavior could be best understood in terms of stimulus and response. 
that is generally known as SR. They examined the impact of stimulus and felt that learning occurred when the SR connection was made. Here from the figure you can understand this is called as actually the stimulus and the response is this one. So whatever it may be the stimulus is there based on that there will be the response. So that type of the behavior is generally examined in the behaviorist framework. B.F. Skinner advocates that behavior in response to a stimulus is depend on environmental consequences. Thus, it is important to note that behaviorist approach is based on observable behavior and environmental variable also, which are also observable. So in behaviorist framework, there are actually two important parameters. One is observable behavior and second one is the environmental variables. Now, third one, social cognitive framework. So with the help of this figure, we can understand this social cognitive framework that will be the last framework of OB. According to social framework, that means this framework, behavior can best be explained in terms of a continuous reciprocal interaction among cognitive, behavioral and environmental determinants. Here you can see cognitive, behavioral and environmental determinants. So based on these three parameters, human behavior is studied that is called as social cognitive framework. The person and the environmental situation do not function as independent units that we have discussed in the previous framework. But in conjunction with behavior itself, reciprocally interact to determine behavior that is in social cognitive framework. It means that Cognitive variables and environmental variables are relevant, but the experiences generated by previous behavior also partly determine what a person becomes and can do, which in turn affects subsequently behavior. Here you can say in cognitive factors, knowledge, attitude, expectation and intentions generally studied. In behavioral factor, we can say skills, practice and self-efficacy. Self-efficacy that means it refers to an individual belief in his or her capacity to execute behavior necessary to produce specific performance attainments. These are the environmental factors. If you have any doubt, then write in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.